So after she's been hit, hit, hit by that van, if she wakes up, I think when she wakes up. This is what happens to V. She blinks and she's back with total amnesia. She's walking along this dirt road. She comes upon this large stone building. It's a, it's a convent. Opens the door, they take her in, they lead her to her room, which is the size of a cell. So that doesn't bother her so much. She lays down and she falls asleep and begins to dream that she is Maria von Trapp. She looks out and she sees the Alps. And she's now running up that hill, except she's got a big afro, twirling and twirling. The hills are alive. You kind of flip forward with the children, except instead of teaching them how to climb trees, she starts to actually teach those children how to push drugs. It's a horrible thing. So when the captain comes home, he actually finds them all lined up in that beautiful big ballroom. All of the kids are like rolling joints. <laughs> There's a knock on the door and instead of the Nazis, it's red. She's got the flaming red hair. She's wearing a booty skirt basically. And they realize now that they have to escape. They jump in the car and as they get over the Alps, she realizes Oh, they're in Compton, back in Compton. Oh, and now she's really pissed. And that's when she's standing on the corner and looks up at this guy and the blinding sun begins to sear her eyeballs and she wakes up. And there she is, laying in the mud, having been hit by that old bald bitch and she is mad good luck with that one <laughs>